Hey guys, I'm Gangster with Attitude B, aka BZE, and today I'm going to show you how to create a custom objects for Multi Theft Auto San Andreas. And if you don't know what is Multi Theft Auto, it's a uh, multiplayer mode for Grand, Auto San Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. <laughs> yes, and it's pretty cool. You, you should try it if you never tried it before. But uh, let's start for now. I'm going to show how to create custom objects and if you don't know what is custom object I'm going to show you so this is a custom object this uh, text is a 3D text uh, also these uh, pyramids uh, th these wings and uh, this BZ 3D text is also custom object uh, this is here also custom object uh, and yeah you need some textures like uh, this one it has to be a PNG, TGA or BMP image and you need also some programs uh, you need uh, Autodesk 3D Studio Max which is the, more, the most important program in this tutorial uh, it's for creating 3D objects you also need a uh, plugin for it going script and uh, you need the SA tools uh, I'll put a download link so you just uh, uh, download it and paste it in your scripts folder uh, to download Autodesk 3D Studio Max I know it's very expensive but you can just download it for from a torrent site or something <laughs> yeah and yeah this is the easiest way to get it I don't know if you want to buy it I'll stop you and you also need a uh, co-editor too, it's about uh, collision files and you need a TXD workshop to open the textures alright so let's start this is the 3D Studio Max, open it and press uh, W plus Alt, Alt plus W and alright you see this now let's create a simple object like box uh, you can use this uh, like a cube to navigate your camera and now just create it drag right here right here and let's make it 5 by 5 by 5 this is the these are the dimensions of the object you can uh, create more polygons this is the polygons but you won't need it for now just set it to 1 right <coughs> um you can create our things like cube box it's uh... there there is a difference between this because if you create a cube see it will be always uh... uh... same in the outside uh, all sides all right? but if you create a box you can create it by your own taste let's say it's five five and five now um... go uh to the move with a right mouse button and move it to 0, 0 and 0 it's very important to uh, place your objects on coordinates 0, 0, 0 because sometimes the collision files can bug yes and now you need to go to this uh, no you don't you won't need it for now let's uh, go to our sm our modifiers you will need the texture let's um, press M right you see this it's the uh, material editor let's make it like this so you can see it alright and let's create a texture and drag it select the texture and drag it yeah. uh, let's see what we'll need let's say this alright it's a basic brick uh, texture and just drag it here alright so we have this right here see it's basic very basic and now close this you won't need it now and now go to the uh, last bar and you will need for this for now go to max script uh, SA tools and you will see this the FX port train pads IO uh, and other things, but for now we'll just need DFF export and Co script export. 
these are the things we we'll need for exporting the custom object so just press on the F export export go to the models um, let's say to export it alright now call script export models export it and now uh, alright we have to open it now right I just opened the models folder and go to the export it and you'll see this box 01 box 01 this is the collision file but is it's not a dot co it's dot uh, cst or something and it doesn't work with uh, San Andreas don't say for now and now we, we can just uh, rename this to let's say s something simple like s very simple s alright and go to here edit mode face all and now here is the material uh, selector you can select what is the material it's not very uh, important no it's important but uh, it's not something which is very cool but y yeah you can use it because you can make your uh, uh, object breakable like glass for example you can make it like uh, dirt like grass it's not I don't think there's a big difference between this but uh, I make I think only the sounds are the different but maybe if it's dirt you'd have uh, dirt after your car if you're uh, racing alright so let's just select uh, default you don't need something special brightness go to max uh, yes and save as go to the ready objects let's create a new folder called s pretty simple right you're making everything simple in this tutorial cut this and delete this because we don't need it for now this is uh, I de just deleted the old collision file and now paste this to where are these ah, yes here so uh, to open the collision file just use the call editor but I've set it to uh, see so I've set I've set it to default so when I open a collision file it will open with uh, the call editor isn't that cool it is I know and I'll just copy this it's a texture example you can create on your own let's click on new alright uh, this is the TXD workshop for textures new and create the 32-bit image now just click on import and models and where it is the brick alright this is the brick and rename this to brick it's very important to use the name which you used here right here uh, in material editor because uh, I don't know the model is uh, recognizing it. Uh, alpha channel, it's let's say it's a transparency channel, which this picture ha uh, doesn't have, so don't have. All right, so click on compressed also and save as. Go to ready as s. I'm using a lot of s here. <laughs> and I'll delete the text and we have these three files here and now we are ready with this tutorial and the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to import these objects in your uh, multi theft auto San Andreas and how to use them in map and how to make your map works with this uh, work with this object alright so bye and see you in the next tutorial